Welcome everyone to the September edition of Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz. After our summer break, we're back starting our new, new series this fall, and we're back in our studio at the Maloney Center, where we've had other, other uh, shows in the past, and we're going to go on the road again later this year, and you'll hear more about that later today. Archbishop Kurtz, welcome. Well, thank you. I hope you had a good summer. Good we're, summer. It's good to be in September. It's, uh, fall is here so fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. We have a really fine show today. We have three segments, which is our tradition. We're going to start here talking about a special anniversary we just finished celebrating, Archbishop Kurtz's 10th anniversary as our Archbishop. In the second segment, uh, Archbishop is going to talk to two special guests who are part of the Convocation of Catholic Leaders. You'll learn about that. And in the third segment, we usually use that as a teaching opportunity for the Archbishop to teach us, and our topic today is going to be the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Okay, let's start by going back down memory lane, if yes, we can. Yes. Uh, uh, August 15th, 2007, Archbishop Kurtz was installed as our new Archbishop. Um, I remember that as one of the hottest days. You know what, most people, <laughs> that's exactly what they say. I remember it as a busy day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it, was, uh, it was a glorious day, uh, Brian. I, I think of the welcome uh, that Archbishop Kelly gave to me. You, you recall that uh, not only was the 15th, the feast day for our uh, cathedral, yes, the Cathedral yes. of the Assumption, but it was also his 30th anniversary as a as a bishop. Oh, very and, good. Uh, right. And so, uh, in celebrating last month my 10th anniversary, it was also his 40th as a bishop. God bless him. Uh, we pray that he, he's in heaven praying for us now and looking down with joy. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was a great time. And you know what? What, what else was very interesting is. No sooner was I installed as we celebrated our 200th anniversary That's as a right. diocese. 2008. And you had an awful lot to do with that, I know. I'm, I'm thinking of the Mass at Slugger Field, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm thinking also the same year where we went to Bardstown, and we had the, uh, the Mass in front of the Proto-Cathedral. And right. then, of That's course, right. when, when we, we welcomed, at that time it was uh, Pope Benedict XVI, as uh, in coming to the United States, both in Washington and in New York City. Yeah, we brought a uh, four or five hundred people to Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was it was a great, great. It was a great way uh, to begin. Uh, I, I think also with uh, it was the same time we began uh, building the Future of Hope campaign that was emphasizing especially uh, the health and the vitality of the parishes and the resources needed. So it gave me a chance to go to all uh, 110, at that time there were a few more parishes, uh, and, and it was kind of a natural way uh, for me to to explore the archdiocese, the adventure of it, and to get to know people, and for people to get to know me. Anniversaries give us a chance to look back, but also look ahead, but before we look ahead, as you look back, um, I know that one of the struggles bishops have is the first day they arrive, people ask them, what are their priorities, and what are they gonna do, and yeah. what's their vision? Um, and uh, I know your answer would be very much like Pope Francis. So the first thing I'm going to do is be with the people, exactly. and then we'll figure out. But exactly. now that you've had 10 years, what, can you tell us what have been your priorities? Yeah, I, it, it's good. This has been a good occasion for me to step back and, and reflect on it. I think my first one probably goes back to the theme of my homily when I entered, and that was unity in truth and charity yeah. uh, in Christ. And it's a unity that Pope Francis now has helped shape as uh, being a missionary, going out, unity not in the sense of, of turning in on ourselves. So I think that, that notion of unity in Christ is very important. I think the second one has to do with the emphasis on parishes and uh, healthy, vital parishes and how can we help parishes to grow. Um, connected with that, I think, has been uh, the priority of our, our leaders, both uh, priests are calling forth seminarians, informing them, our, our, our uh, deacons, women and men religious and lay leaders, and all the formation that that has been involved in. And, and then I would probably also say, what does it mean uh, to enter into the culture? to be good citizens. One of the things that I think is unique about our church is that we talk about our, our, our call is to be good citizens of heaven and earth. We know that our final destination is in heaven, but we, we want to be good citizens here on earth. And what does it mean to promote the common good, the good of people? 
and you have to enter into uh, the culture, if you will. So they would be, I think, probably some of the priorities. I'm probably left good. out a, a couple no, of good ones. Well, there's, there's been, 10 years is also a long period yeah. of time. You know, when um, you had, a, of course, a good number of years of ministry in Allentown Diocese yeah. and then a time as a bishop in Knoxville. Um, as Louisville, it surprises, surprises you? Well, the richness, the, the richness of, of the Catholic background. I mean, uh, when, when I look, uh, I look at, at uh, the, the geography, if you would, of our archdiocese, and I think, well, the very southern part, very similar to uh, what I experienced in East Tennessee. But then you look at Bardstown and Nelson County and uh, Washington and, and Marion County, and you see the Catholic Holy Land, and boy, there's a richness yeah, there. I mean, in some ways, our whole nation looks here for the, the growth of the church. And then, of course, uh, uh, the diversity of Jefferson County, the, the, the richness of the institutional life, but also the diversity of it and the growth. So uh, I think in some ways, I, I, I love the flavor of, uh, it's, it's been an adventure just getting around and yeah. meeting people in each of those areas. You, you know, you say that, um, you know, you're, you're often say, and it's become kind of a slogan we've all picked up, that the Archdiocese is 110 parishes working together. That's right. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you visited every one, <laughs> which is a, not many people have ever done that, but yeah. of course as our bishop you do. It. But what, um, uh, what, is, what does the variety of our parishes tell you about ch the church life for us? Well, one of the things, it's kind of like families, Brian. Uh, every family has a certain commonality. I mean, a, a Catholic parish is, has certain predictable things. We were centered in the Eucharist, the sacramental life, the, the teachings, uh, uh, the, the preparation of our young people. There are many, the outreach to others. But, but there's also something very unique. Each, each parish has a history. And I, for one, love to join that history. I mean, I, I love when I see where the cemetery is and, and, yeah, yeah. and see uh, what, what the, the historical life is. And I always will ask people, you know, well, where did you come from? So there's a, there's a, there's a flavor that parishes take on that I have found to be unique. We probably should do our own segment just on those, that flavor. Yeah, we could do about 110 Ex stories, exactly. 110 Ex shows exactly. just on our parishes. Exactly. That's very good. And you know what, that there was a booklet for the, for the 2008 that for was the bicentennial. done. The Bicentennial booklet. And when I would visit a parish, I would read a little that history. segment. Yeah. So that was really my textbook yeah. for beginning life within the Archdiocese. Wow. Well, Archbishop, 10 years has gone fast. I, I, I remember your homily uh, at the opening mass for, of your installation. And one of the things you did is you, you played off my old Kentucky home. Old Kentucky home. home. And my new kept, Kentucky you, home. And you repeated t two or three times, this is my new Kentucky home. Exactly. Well, 10 years later, I'm so glad you made Louisville, the Catholic Archdiocese of Louisville, the Church of Central Kentucky, your new Kentucky home. It, it's great to be home. Yes, that's very yeah. good. And thanks, Archbishop Kurtz, and thank all of you for being with us during this segment. Stay tuned for our second segment. We have two special guests coming right up.